Microsoft Loop is changing the way that we work. But of course, how does it best work in apps on Microsoft Teams? Yes, if you want to share content with one of your colleagues using Teams chat, Loop can help you do that. Even better, we can now share content in Teams channels, and we're going to dive into that and see how it all works. Not only that, if you have meetings and need to keep up to date with the meeting notes, well, once again, Loop can help. And we're going to check out how that works using Teams. And before we dive in, just to share an interesting stat again, we had over 88% of people who watched our last video who were not subscribed to this channel. And we would love it if you're part of the 88% to click on that subscribe button and be part of our exciting journey to turn you into a productivity superstar and allow us to create more great content like this every week and be able to help you further. So let's dive into Microsoft Teams and check out all of those powerful loop capabilities. So the first area we'll have to take a look at in Microsoft Teams is the ability to use loop inside the Microsoft Teams chat. Now let's use an example of us planning an upcoming business development conference. I've got some content I've created. I need to share with Megan who works in the marketing team. I need Megan to make changes to make sure the copy works so we can then put it into some publications. Now I might have done that before in Outlook and I may then have received copies back having to update it at the source and it all loses sync. But now we can use Microsoft Loop and we can use it inside a chat to simplify that whole experience. So let's go ahead and create a loop component. What we're gonna do is open a message to Megan here inside a Teams chat. Now instead of just pasting in the content into the chat message like this, what we're gonna do is go down and select the loop button under loop components. And here I'm gonna select a paragraph. This will create a paragraph inside of loop, therefore can be updated by Megan and kept all in sync. So select paragraph, and here we can add a title and our content. Now, as we can see, Loop and Teams provides the ability to do spell checks and also check the actual wording of this content. So I can actually make a small change to it directly inside of my Loop component. But of course, what we need to do is share it in Megan to understand her thoughts on this. So let's go ahead and add a message above this content and ask Megan to review and also make any changes that are required. And we could also change the security as we can see in this loop paragraph, we actually have the security set as anyone in the organization. Now, if I just wanted to only share it with Megan to ensure that no one else could accidentally see this, I can change it to people currently in this chat. Of course, I'll leave Megan to have edit rights to make the appropriate changes and then click on apply. They'll update the security of our component, ensuring that only Megan and anyone else who may be in the chat can also have access to this content but let's go ahead and click on send. That's now sent through to Megan. She received a Teams message in chat in exactly the same way. But the big difference here is, we can now click into this message and we can make live changes to the content. Even me as the author who sent it to Megan, maybe there's a mistake in here. Well, I could simply go into the content and I could remove this sentence. Clicking backspace or the delete key removes it from the paragraph. Those changes are synced in real time. I don't have to click file save anywhere. And it also ensures that when Megan picks it up, that change will also be made. So how does that look on Megan's computer? Well, here is Megan's computer. Here's a message that Alex was sent across to Megan. And as we can see, Megan can also make those live changes to the content, particularly bolding some content, just to note that's an area of significance or once again, going in and removing some content or keeping it in sync. And if you wondered what this red cursor was here, well, that's where Alex is also working on the content. Yes, any changes will be also synchronized in real time into the loop message here, ensuring that we exactly see all of the most recent content of any changes made by others. And once the review is done, while well, a simple thumbs up and a simple message back to Alex to let him know the change has been made and it's all been updated. So let's not forget that also we need to collaborate as a team. And yes, loop in Teams chat is very powerful, but if you're dealing with a team of people, it can be really difficult to go and create a new Teams message. Now, especially considering our scenario, we're also planning a new business development conference. We need to know a location. I'm unlikely to create a Teams chat to every single person who belongs to one of my teams. That could be quite difficult to do. 
So instead, we can use new capability in Loop to post a Loop component inside of one of my team's channels, where the business development team currently reside. And we can even create a live voting table to decide on a location. So to do that, we're gonna open start a post inside of my team's channel. As we can see, we see the traditional message box appear. But what we can do is click on the Loop icon. This can therefore create a Loop component inside of our team's channel and I'm gonna select a voting table. And inside of this table, we're gonna kind of add some content on the potential locations of our next conference. And now I've added a simple instruction. We have ideas, pros, and cons. That doesn't work too well for what we're trying to achieve. Let's go ahead and overtype the idea to the location. So all we need to do is click into it and change it to location. I'm not interested in pros and cons. What I can do is therefore select that column and delete it from our table and once again do the same. And now in our locations, what all we need to do is add in each location to allow people to vote for that. So with the locations added, we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and select post. And as we can see, that loop component is now available in our team's channel. We can scroll down through the instructions and see all of the locations. But hey, there's some bad news. I've missed out one of our locations. Is that gonna cause us a problem? Well, remembering that loop is live, it can be updated in place and everyone can see those changes. If this was done on other apps, well, it'd be pretty difficult to go and change it after. All we need to do is therefore click into it, we can update the location. Let's also put in the location of Manchester and therefore that is now available for a new location and we can now begin voting. For example, I might have an interest in going to New York. Hey, it's pretty good at this time of the year. Let's go ahead and mark it as a vote. You can actually see here it's voted and by hovering over, Alex has voted for that location. Equally, others can do exactly the same and those votes will be shown live inside of that loop component. And of course, if you want to go and share it wider, all we then need to do is you can move over to copy component. We can copy it and paste it elsewhere, maybe into an Outlook email or into a Teams chat message and share it wider. But using a new Teams capability for loop channel components, means it's a lot easier to create that type of content, share it with colleagues and keep it all in sync. So before we get looped out, I thought it'd be a great opportunity to take a short break and let you know more about your 365 coach. Because if you're struggling in Microsoft 365, then why not check out our website? We have a range of learning courses to help you become a productivity superstar and also one-to-one -one coaching sessions to help you focus on the things that are important to you. Not only that, we've even got a free Microsoft ebook that you can take and gain access to immediately. So I'd love to find out more about how we can help you on your journey at Microsoft 365. Otherwise, let's dive back in to the world of Teams and Loop and find out how we can save you even more time. So now we've selected our location in New York, we now need to begin building out the agenda for the location. And what we can do is using the Teams calendar, we can go in and create a new meeting. And this therefore allows us to create a new type of loop content, which are meeting notes. They can also be updated directly in the meeting and get synced later and be shared wider. So here we have our meeting description as we can see. We can also see an option to add an agenda others can edit. Let's left click into there and we now see we have a Microsoft loop component that's been created with this content and I can now add the points to be covered in our agenda. Now with that done, and I've added all of those agenda points, we're ready to go ahead and send this over to Megan. Let's go and click on send. This will now apply just like any other meeting. We can join from Outlook or in Teams, but once we join the meeting, we'll see a difference. So here I am inside my Teams meeting. I've just kicked it off, and we can see immediately that on the right-hand side, the loop content added as part of our meeting notes is now showing the agenda, and also additional fields and meeting notes and follow-up tasks. All we then need to simply do is update the meeting notes and follow-up tasks. And not only that, any tasks that we note here to individuals will also be synchronized into Microsoft Todo, ensuring that allocated tasks are maybe are not even in the meeting. We can pick up with them a little bit later on. And with all of that done, all we need to do is go ahead and leave the meeting and that will all sync back into loop. And as I mentioned, here is my Microsoft To Do, and we can now see the task to arrange a meeting with Scott is now appearing straight in Microsoft To Do, which generated from those meeting notes. 
And not only that, if we go into loop, we can also see the same content, meaning we can share it wider as loop components with other individuals who may want to have a reference point to the notes or even update them later to keep them all in sync. Now, if you like this video, please don't be part of the 88%. Hit the subscribe button and be able to check out more great content like this to help turn you into a productivity superstar. And not only that, check out our website to find more about how we can help you and even download our free Microsoft 365 ebook. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next one.